Good morning, Mapleton Online, and welcome to the morning announcements with me, Janice Garpelestrab. Today is Wednesday, November 17th, 2021, and there is some construction going on next door while I am recording this. I will try to edit out the noises, but I feel kind of daunted by the task, which means I'm not sure I can do it. So if you hear any grinding noises or anything, that's what's going on. Today was kind of an eventful day in history. I couldn't pick just one thing, so I have a few different things for you today. First of all, today was the day that Queen Elizabeth I ascended the throne of England in 1558. The Elizabethan era was a time of prosperity and security, and England at the time was known for its playwrights like William Shakespeare and ex its explorers like Sir Francis Drake. Today was also the day the Suez Canal was completed in 1869. It is located in Egypt. This is still important today because a lot of the goods that we get from China come through the Suez Canal and the Mediterranean to get to Europe and the USA. Before the Suez Canal, was, ships had to go all the way around Africa and the Cape of Good Hope, which is not only much longer, but is also through rough seas. Some of you might remember this summer when the Suez Canal was blocked by a large container ship called the Ever Given. There were a lot of memes and things about it on the internet. Although the Suez Canal was only blocked for six days, it is still impacting supply chains months later. And during those six days, it cost the global economy $400 million per hour. It was a very expensive traffic jam in one of the world's most important shipping routes. In more recent shipping history, today was also the day that the first ship sailed through the Panama Canal in 1913. Like the Suez Canal, the Panama Canal enabled faster shipping between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Prior to its opening, ships had to go all the way around the southern tip of South America, which is close to Antarctica and very dangerous. The Panama Canal saved ships about 8,000 miles of travel each way. Today's weather will be sunny with a few passing clouds and a high of 39 degrees. Tonight will be clear skies with a low of 23. Good morning, Mapleton Online. It's Cindy Lewis, and I'm here to remind you of our initial science fair meeting this Thursday, November 18th from 3 to 3.30. We will be posting a Teams link on our Mapleton Online homepage, so please plan to join us so that you too can be part of this year's science fair fun. Have a wonderful day. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And just a reminder, there is no school for students this Friday, November 19th. And then next week is Thanksgiving break. So there will be no school from November 22nd to 26th. So after tomorrow, the next time we will see you will be November 29th. Mapleton Reads is going on now. You can pick up a copy in person from the administration building or check out an ebook on your phone or tablet from the OverDrive app. You can find a link to the ebook copies on the Mapleton website. Third, fifth, and seventh grade have art this week. And our word of the day is fewer, which means a smaller number. I think you got fewer blue M&Ms than I did. Did you know the seven-banded armadillo is found in South America, including the surrounding islands, such as the Corbin Local Wildlife Park on the island of Tobago seen here. They eat mostly insects and are good swimmers. Here's a drawing by Esma Morrison. She drew her teachers, Mrs. Wilson, Miss Bowes, and Mrs. Peebler. If you would like to share something on the morning announcements, please email it to me at scarpellaj at mapleton.us or send it to your teacher and you might see it here. Thank you for watching and have a great day.